Laravel's Eloquent model has made it easier to work with one-to-many and many-to-many -many relationships. And now Twill has made it easy to administer these relationships with some powerful form options. I'm excited to show you a few today because it makes managing complex data relationships incredibly easy. First, we review how presenters work. It's a smart approach to keeping single-purpose display functions separate from data and logic. Then we'll learn about Twill's repeater field, a handy form element that allows a user to use additional amounts of a specific form element. Finally, we look at the browser field. It empowers an editor to make selections based on other modules by browsing their data rows, almost like a mini list view. In our project, we have a module for contributors. There's a beautiful form for capturing name, avatar, skills, including a biography. But on the list page, I'd like to include the avatar image of the person. Do this by adding a configuration to the contributor's admin controller file. The array index columns lets us override how the list presents. By default, it's a list with the field we use for the slug parameter or title column key, typically name. We add a field called image and fill in the crop and variant values. The image always appears to the left of the page. Because we're overriding the index columns, we need to include name as well and put after image. Another thing I'd also like to do is list the contributor's skills, but this is an array of tags. I solve that problem by creating a presenter. We create a presenter class that checks for the requested method on the model. If it doesn't exist, then maybe what's requested is a property on the model. We set up an instantiate entity to represent the model instance, we use the PHP overloading method get so we can interact with a method that may not have been declared or isn't visible in the current scope. Taking this approach sets us up to use other presenters for different modules. It's convenient and you'll find it empowering to be creative with populating blade templates with data. Now we build a presenter for a contributor so we can return the tag array as a nicely formatted string. We start by extending the presenter class we just made Notice how I named my method tag as string. We update the contributor model so it knows about the presenter class. Notice how the variable referencing the presenter class has admin as part of the name. It is only available in the admin controller. Going back to the controller, we include tag as string as a field to be listed. We see our contributor's avatar image, and when I reload the page, we now see their skills as a list. Let's think about how we'd like to connect the projects and contributors. When I look at a single project, I want to see everyone that worked on it, as well as their role, like movie credits. From experience, I know there can be teams with 40 people building a website, or a single person doing everything. I also know some people require top billing. We need it to be a versatile system. So I start with a project. The project can have one or more credits. The Twill form field we use is a repeater. It enables you to add as many credits as needed, and you can adjust the order they are displayed. Many credits have many contributors. The Twill form field we use in this case is a browser. You pick the contributors that belong to the credit. You'll also be able to reorder who comes first. I used to work for a magazine, and often that was stipulated in a writer or an illustrator's contract just like top billing on a movie poster. Let's recap our data relationships. Project to credit is a one-to-many relationship. Credit to contributor is a many-to-many -many relationship. I am creating a credit module with a Twill command line. The only flag I'm setting is P for position. We edit the generated credit migration to include project ID and position. Run the migration. Add the route module so that Twill can access the API. In the project model, we establish a one-to-many relationship. Our setup is mainly standard Laravel protocol. Create all of your data connections and then use the power of Twill to manage them. In the credit model, we make sure the fillable fields array has the relevant fields and then set up the many-to-one relationship back to the project. In our project form, we are adding a form field for the repeater. 
It's a field set that belongs in the field set section of this form. And we set the type to credit. As you saw in the previous episode, Twill utilizes form blocks to offer greater customization. We use the same approach when creating a repeater block. I am creating an admin block named credit, and inside of it is a single field for title. For roles like developer, producer, or designer. In the same way blocks register in the Twill config file, so do repeaters. If you have a problem where an element is not appearing in a form, start your debugging with a Twill config file. Make sure everything is registered and configured correctly. We need to hook into the project repository to save this relationship. When after save is called, the update repeater helper can be applied to the module. And then in the other direction, get form fields for repeater is used to do precisely that. The role of the repository, in my opinion, sets Twill apart from other Laravel CMS solutions. It gives you, the developer, many ways to hook into the data lifecycle at any point. Let's test out our one-to-many relationship so far. We create a few credits, and then try reordering them. Excellent, works as expected. Now let's establish our many-to-many -many relationship between credit and contributor. The process is very similar to what we just did, except we'll need to create a migration for a pivot table. As we prepare the pivot table migration, we can take advantage of the Twill helper for the schema Create Default Relationship Table Fields. We now run the migration and establish the many-to-many -many relationship and the respective inverse for the credit and contributor models. Let's return to our credit admin block and include a browser field for the contributors. Now we need to hook into the credit repository to save this relationship. There's an aftersave method and a getForm field method, similar to what we established a few seconds ago. This time we have an update browser helper, and the return data to populate the form field is structured a little differently. Let's try it out with some of our placeholder data. Pretty simple to use. Just remember, you're creating data relationships in the same way you would with Laravel, then using Twill to provide the user access to these connections. In our next and final episode, we'll look at how to put this content into Blade templates. Thank you for watching.